Welcome to Doak Campbell Stadium, and you might as well get used to the sound you're hearing. The Seminole War chant is going full float. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big-time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Boston College Eagles taking on the 11th-ranked team in the land, the Florida State Seminoles. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The offense set for a first down play. Can't quite make the connection there. I don't let him a little too much. In football, you hear the term quick, but don't hurry. And you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously was inaccurate with his pass. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Looking to move it through the air. He let the thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They're going to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. This guy hoping to join that long line of big playmakers for Florida State, whether it's Rashad Green. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance. Third and long, and they can get the first down without scoring a touchdown. Scanning the field, it's Uyunga Lale. Fires into the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Got to give the defense credit on... Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. They'll give it to the back. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, no! Man, this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half, but this unit looks dialed in. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. 22 more. 22 more. Hand off to the single running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first and an array of possibilities here. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Quickly to the tight end. Tackle is made after the first down. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Offense set on first down. The give is to Williams. Oh, what a move! And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Illegal, 
So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. On first down, here comes this offense. To the air, it's Uyunglele. Quickly complete. Brought down at the 31 after a pickup of 10 yards on that one. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out quickly. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And stick it. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. He'll do it himself. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Really nice job by the defense shutting down. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man. Right on the money with that throw. The defense was there, but they are in the red zone with a first. This offense has a second down play. They feed him again. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. He caught it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State! What a grab and what a quick strike for that offense. And when I'm an offensive coordinator and I see a short field, I'm thinking attack, attack, attack. Go get that touchdown. Take advantage of what the defense gave you. Great job by the offensive coordinator. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse, they love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break. Well, why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute throwing and running the football. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now before the half? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. To throw, it's Uyunglele. He finds his man. Good pick up there as he gets the first down. They'll mark him at the 38. All right, defense. It ain't working. <laughs> They're stringing it. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's Johnson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Hey, listen, on off. First down for this offense. He's going to pass. Caught close to the marker, it's Johnson. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And complete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, fortunate to get it back. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. 
from the gun on third down. Got it. And he will score! Touchdown, Seminole! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They'll run the RPO and forward right. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Fires into traffic, intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. He looked as if he thought he had it all the way, and this junior makes a play. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can force a turnover and you already set your offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs. On first down, finding positive. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the... Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to throw, it's Uyangalale. Firing to the right, complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. The give is to Williams. And he was able to push forward for a solid gain as the clock strikes zero here in the third. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. A third down play to open up this quarter. Balls and fired complete. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. Well, that receiver's look. Offense getting set for first down. Give to the back. Fights off a defender. At the 40, there he goes. He was on his way. He could smell it. He gets it inside the 10. They stopped him at the 9. You want to know why this offense runs the football a lot? Because you got a guy that's top five in college football in rushing. You give him the football, and he'll continue to make plays. I imagine they're going to keep feeding him because he keeps putting up productive numbers. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. 
firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with the victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Might as well keep pounding that rock at this point in the game, even though it's second and 12. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? To the ground to try to pick up the first. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. We've waited so long to start the season, and just the way you want to start, getting that first victory. And the first games are so much fun. You've been practicing against each other over and over all through camp. Now you get to come out, start the season off 1-0, Jesse. Great start. It was a great start for the winning team. Now, for the losing team, obviously, not the way you want to get into this season. There were some mistakes with execution, and guys are going to have to do a better job individually. But that's why you play the games. You get to now go back to the drawing board, get back on the practice field, try and iron out these wrinkles. It's a long season ahead. A lot to play for. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports.